Best brace my hood here. The guards here are vigilant. back drinking and jabbering as always Hun who? Hunwald, son of our elderman so this is Hunwald's safe haven though we be a mercy and shire today tomorrow the stranger Avo come sit Bread and ale please ale wife I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here Lord He is a nobleman like me one of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land. We are going to see your father, Hunvold. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Hunwald, your father's ill, and your enemies have every advantage under the sun. Do you have a plan, or have I come all this way to watch you drink this watery piss? Of course, my friend. I am a man of action above all else, ready to leap and dance and fight. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln! Away! But with care. 
The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard. A single Dane will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alva. And here he'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in! Have you ever seen a blood kill, my Saxon friends? A what? A blood eagle, a raw, magnificent... First, I crush your ribs. Then I pull out your lungs and stretch them... Jesus! You canny fuck! Like, watching a captain! I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then, we shall... You travel with a marked man at... He's with me. He'll... If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions, I'd... Alfgar, the boorish nag... Told Hunmolt. You? Leave it be! Oh, Jesus! Show me! It's just a bloody Dane! Oh! I have been Which struck way? down! Ah. Pruned within an inch of my life! Ah. I will survive! I must! Continue as you would, Eivor! And if I should expire, avenge me! Ah. Ah. The idiot can save us! paying us! Kill you! You're mine! I live! I am alive! Heaven have mercy! Are you hurt? Unbelievable! Alfgar! We have won- Humboldt, are you hurt? Never better, I- We should get to Lincoln as- Yes, yes, you're right. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me, the son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive of me to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairals and serfs of this shire? What cause have any to dishonor me? Boats there! We could sail the waters to Lincoln, sink the ships of any enemies in our way. What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to screaming. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse pucky! Mercian soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river Wash, and told me plainly. Start anew elsewhere, or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death. Hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Humboldt. I can't help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never. No, I suspect the order for my exile came from on high. Perhaps one of Burgred's final orders before he was deposed. That would surprise me. Burgred was battling Danes until the end. He had bigger things to worry over. Perhaps you're right. He's too contained. It must have been King Alfred, then. King Alfred of Wessex? That's another kingdom entirely. Yes, but Alfred has a fearful hatred of the Danes. He must have heard that I am courting one. A beauty who knows no equal. Your Dane lady love. Right. Here's Lincoln, be seen here. the city of the my birth, work. the cauldron of my prince. Mercian guards everywhere. Follow me. Right behind you, Shadow Walker. My heart beats like the drums of your dragon mount.
This town... This town was your home? It was, and should still be. Oh, to see it now fills my eyes with tears. Save weeping for prayers. We're not inside yet. One day I won't have to skulk around this town with my face hidden. I will be around for the people I love. How was your father the last time you saw him? How was your father the last time you saw him? He was quite poorly. But he has the heart of a lion and the Holy Spirit itself within him. A bout of illness would never bring him low. Did he think highly of you? Oh yes, yes indeed. The thanes and clergy of Lincolnshire are not fond of me, but they do not yet know me well enough. Not true. People of Lincoln are not welcoming to Danes. It's troubling, I know. Your folk are strong. I have barely enough silver to buy peat from those bandit smugglers. They hoard everything. My dear Reagan hair, body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Have you looked for him? Oh, I dare not go asking after him, for fear of stepping above my... But he'll be in good hands, don't you worry. Up there with the abbess, he still has friends in Lincoln. Bishop Herivrith, he's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your fa... Will we find trouble there? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye, there have been many, many more about since your father took his... Right, we'll find a quiet way... <laughs> 